stress corresponds to positive traveling wave and v minus corresponds to negative z direction or backward wave so here it will be minus so it is defined as the ratio of v plus by i plus or it is given by minus of v minus by i minus so these corresponds to the first these are corresponds to the wave traveling in positive z direction or forward wave so v minus and i minus are the terms related to the reflected wave or the backward wave so this characteristic impedance is independent of the distance so it will be same everywhere on the line it will be same everywhere on the line it is not dependent on the location where you are measuring on the transmission line so that is the important point that you have to <coughs> understand so at any point on the line wherever you measure the ratio of forward traveling voltage to the forward wave current or the reflected wave voltage to reflected wave current so it will give you the same value at any point on the line you measure it will give you the same for forward wave and as well as for the reflected wave anywhere on the line you measure at any point on the line so this is important at any point on the line you measure it will give you the same value that is why it is called characteristic impedance so the line will be characterized by this parameter line the transmission line is characterized by the this parameter so anywhere on the line you measure the ratio of positive traveling voltage to the current wave or negative or reflected traveling wave voltage to the reflected current wave so it will give you the the same value the same impedance value so this will characterize the transmission line so this impedance will characterize the impedance of the transmission line so that is why it is called characteristic impedance it will characterize the line anywhere on the line you measure whether it is for the forward wave or the reflected wave it will give you the same impedance value at any point on the line it will give you the same impedance value so that is why it is called the characteristic impedance of the line now we will find the expression for the characteristic impedance of the transmission line so we have the equation right so vs of z vs of z is given by v plus e power minus gamma z plus v minus e power plus gamma z so this will be plus gamma z similarly is of z is nothing but i plus e power minus gamma z plus i minus e power plus gamma z now this we will substitute in the coupled equation we can take any coupled equation so first we will take this equation so in this equation now we will substitute in place of vs of z vs of z this v plus e power minus gamma z plus v minus e power plus gamma z so similarly in place of is of z we will substitute this i plus e power minus gamma z plus i minus e power plus gamma z so this voltage term we are differentiating with respect to z with respect to z so this is a constant so it will not affect differentiation so here e power minus gamma z we are differentiating with respect to z so what we will get so if you differentiate e power minus gamma z with respect to z you will get minus gamma minus gamma into e power minus gamma z so here we will get if you differentiate this with respect to z so gamma into e power plus gamma z so substitute in this equation so differentiate and substitute the expression 
and similarly in place of is of z you substitute this expression so if you substitute here this minus and this minus will become plus this minus this is already having one minus so this minus and this minus will become plus so this will become plus so whereas here we will get minus so v plus so here we will get minus and similarly here we have v minus e power plus gamma z so in both the terms gamma is common both the terms is having gamma so i have taken the gamma common from both the terms so from the first term we got v plus e power minus gamma z and minus and from this term we got v minus e power plus gamma z and here i have substituted simply in place of i s of z i plus e power minus gamma z plus i minus e power plus gamma z so if you differentiate v s of z with respect to z and if you take gamma you will get the below equation you will get the below equation so is it clear simply we have differentiated with respect to z and we have taken the gamma outside which is common in both the both the terms now what we will do means we will take e power minus we will compare on both sides e power minus gamma z portion and e power plus gamma z portion on both sides so first if you compare e power minus gamma z portions on both left hand side as well as right hand side so e power minus gamma z terms is nothing but gamma into v plus on the left hand side so whereas on the right hand side we will get r plus j omega l into i plus right so e power minus gamma z coefficient on the left hand side is gamma v plus whereas on the right hand side we have r plus j omega l into i plus so first we are equating the coefficient of e power minus gamma z and then we will compare the coefficients of e power gamma z so if you compare first e power minus gamma z coefficient so gamma v plus on the left hand side you will get gamma v plus on the right hand side we will get r plus j omega l into i plus right so now if you take the ratio of v plus to i plus so this gamma will go this side and this i plus will come this side so v plus by i plus is nothing but r plus j omega l by gamma gamma is nothing but the propagation constant and this is nothing but what is characteristic impedance how we define characteristic impedance we have defined ratio of forward traveling wave voltage to the current ratio of forward traveling wave voltage to the current so this is nothing but r plus j omega l by gamma so this we got if you compare the coefficients of e power minus gamma z so similarly compare the coefficients of e power plus gamma z similarly compare the coefficients of plus e power gamma z so this is called the or uh, this is the expression for the characteristic impedance of the transmission line characteristic impedance of the transmission line z not is given by r plus j omega l by gamma and similarly compare the coefficients of e power plus gamma z so now if you compare the coefficients of e power plus gamma z what you will get so this gamma multiplied by this minus v minus right so that is why on the left hand side we got minus gamma v minus the right hand side r plus j omega l into i minus so this is the coefficient of e power plus gamma z right plus gamma z 
and again if you take the ratio of minus v minus to i minus minus v minus to i minus it will be r plus j omega l by gamma so in terms of backward wave the characteristic impedance is defined minus of v minus to i minus so this is also the characteristic impedance of the transmission line so from both the expressions v plus to i plus we got r plus j omega l by gamma and similarly from the ratio of minus v minus to i minus we got r plus j omega l by gamma so by comparing either the quotient either plus e power plus gamma z or e power minus gamma z the characteristic impedance is same that is why whether you measure on the forward traveling wave or the reflected wave at any point on the line why it is independent of the distance why it is independent this is the characteristic impedance is not a function of z because it is depending only on the line parameters what is gamma gamma is nothing but the propagation constant how it is defined it is defined square root of z into y z is nothing but r plus j omega l z is nothing but r plus j omega l and y is nothing but g plus j omega c so in the expression nowhere it is having a function of z all are constant r simply r l l and c r l g and c so that is why it will be same wherever you measure on the line so this is one expression for the characteristic impedance we will see another expression we have taken one coupled equation right so if you take the other coupled equation if you take the other coupled equation now in this coupled equation you substitute this vs of z and is of z so in place of is of z you substitute this and in place of vs of z you substitute here you substitute here now differentiate the current term with respect to z differentiate the current term with respect to z so if you differentiate this term again what you will get minus gamma into e power minus gamma z plus i minus so here you will have i plus here you will have i minus so it will be gamma into e power gamma z so this will be the value of rho is of z by rho z and substitute vs of z here substitute vs of z here and again compare the e power minus gamma z coefficients or e power minus gamma z terms and e power plus gamma z terms on both sides compare e power minus gamma z coefficient and as well as e power plus gamma z terms on both sides substitute and compare so this is the expression you will get if you substitute and if you observe again gamma is common in both the terms gamma is common on both the terms gamma into i plus e power minus gamma z minus gamma into i minus e power plus gamma z so this side you will have if you substitute v in place of vs of z v plus e power minus gamma z plus v minus e power plus gamma z and z plus j omega c so now equate the quotients first of e power minus gamma z so what is the quotient that we have e power minus gamma z on the left hand side it is gamma of i plus so whereas here we have v plus into g plus j omega c e power minus gamma z coefficient is nothing but v plus into z plus j omega c so gamma of i plus is equal to v plus into z plus j omega c 
now if you take the ratio of v plus to i plus if you take the ratio of v plus to i plus so this term will go here gamma by g plus j omega c and this term will come in this denominator v plus by i plus so v plus by i plus is equal to gamma by g plus j omega c so this is the another expression for characteristic impedance but both will give you the same result you will see how we are we will getting the both expressions are same so here if we take from the this coupled equation from this coupled equation what we are getting the expression for characteristic impedance it is nothing but gamma by c plus j omega c now similarly compare the coefficients of e power plus gamma z now compare the coefficients of e power plus gamma z right is it clear now if you compare the coefficients of e power plus gamma z right what will have on the left hand side it is minus gamma i minus whereas here you will have b minus into t plus j omega c so if you compare the coefficient on the left hand side it is minus gamma i minus is equal to v minus into g plus j omega c on the right hand side so now if you take the ratio of minus of p minus to i minus so what we'll get if you take so this is how we define the characteristic impedance for the backward wave z not is equal to characteristic impedance of the transmission line is nothing but minus of b minus to i minus so gamma by g plus j omega c so for the if you compare for the forward wave we got gamma by g plus j omega c both will give you the same expression both will give you the same expression now we will compare both the expression with the earlier expression what is gamma what is gamma gamma is nothing but square root of g plus j omega c into r plus j omega l now substitute here in place of gamma place of gamma you substitute square root of g plus j omega c into r plus j omega l so this denominator term g plus j omega c one square root term will get cancelled and you will get square root of r plus j omega l in the numerator in the denominator this term you can write square root of g plus j omega c into g plus j omega c right so the, the, the denominator term you can write it as square root of g plus j omega c into g plus j omega c so it will be g plus j omega c whole square square and root will get cancel so in this numerator we have one square root g plus j omega c so both term will get cancel so in the numerator we will have r plus this r plus j omega l and in the denominator we will have g plus j omega c so this is nothing but the characteristic impedance of the line so this is another expression you can write so this is also the characteristic impedance of the line so this is also the characteristic impedance of the line square root of r plus j omega l by g plus j omega so what is the earlier expression that we got for the forward traveling or if we substitute what is that expression v plus by i plus what is the expression that we got it is nothing but r plus j omega l by gamma this is the earlier expression that we got 
again if you substitute gamma gamma is equal to square root of r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c and again if you write this r plus j omega l square root of two times r plus j omega l into r plus j omega l and in the denominator if you write the propagation constant expression square root of r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c so when r plus square root of j omega l will get cancel so you will get same square root of r plus j omega l by g plus j omega c so from either of the expression the characteristic impedance is same so this will be square root of r plus j omega l so this will be the expression for the characteristic impedance or this you can also write it as what is the numerator term this is nothing but z impedance this is nothing but admittance so we can write it as square root of z by y so this is the these are the different expressions for the characteristic impedance of the transmission line so it is square root of r plus j omega l by g plus j omega c or you can also write it as r plus j omega l by gamma or you can also write it as root of z by y or what is the other expression we got in this z not is equal to what is that expression gamma by v plus j omega c so these are all the different expressions for the characteristic impedance of the line so the important thing is it is independent of the location independent nothing is a function of z right so it is independent of the location and dependent only on line parameters what are line parameters line parameters are nothing but r l and g c so these four are called the line parameters of the transmission line so it is dependent only on the parameters and it is also independent of the length it is not function where you measure so it is independent of the location as well as independent of the length so this is how the characteristic impedance of the line is defined so these are the this is one expression square root of r plus j omega l by g plus j omega c or you can also write r plus j omega l by gamma or you can also write root of z by y or you can also write gamma by g plus j omega c so these are all the different expressions for the characteristic impedance you can remember any one so you can remember this one characteristic impedance is nothing but square root of r plus j omega l by g plus j omega c this expression you can remember other expressions you can get from one expression you can remember this expression characteristic impedance of the transmission line is given by square root of r plus j omega l by g plus j omega c so there is propagation constant propagation constant is nothing but product of the impedance and admittance okay. propagation constant is nothing but it is nothing but ratio uh, product of the impedance and admittance right so there is characteristic impedance is the ratio of impedance to admittance characteristic impedance is the ratio of square root of impedance to admittance whereas the propagation constant propagation constant is nothing but square root of impedance and admittance so this is how you can remember so root of r plus j omega l by g plus j omega c which is the characteristic impedance whereas propagation constant propagation constant of the transmission line is nothing but square root of r plus j omega l into g plus j omega So is it clear? Any doubt? 
If you like the video, please share, like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get latest video updates.